circuit. Um, a lot of wires. We have three power supplies, one for each uh, flywheel up here. So we have the two flywheels up top. That's what's actually going to spin and shoot the balls. And then the one power supply in the back is powering our two servo motors. We have the one servo motor up here that controls the up and down. And there's a servo motor in the middle of this uh, PVC base that controls uh, the horizontal um, rotation. Yep. It goes around like that. Um, and then so this is we have our grounds connected right here solder between the two motors and uh, this wire goes to the power for that power supply and this one to the other one and then ground goes back all the grounds are connected between these three power supplies and the um, Arduino that we have here uh, taped down to the middle and these two wires right here are signal wires to our servos to tell uh, where to go. We have a solenoid right here hooked up um, as a constant power to it, and then we um, break the. Uh, well, it's the ground's broken right now, and we connect it and we push that down. And then, if you look kind of in the back mass here with all the wires, um, you can see we have how we have our servos connected um, to the power and ground from this power supply going through this breadboard, and then the signal wires going back with gator clips to the front and then here are the wires from the solenoid and pretty much how everything works is the pixie camera up here uh, we teach it a color that we want it to track and then it'll uh, come through on this computer and show us um, what we see so that's what it's seeing right now but if you were to see the um, <laughs> there's Alan. if you were to see the color that we taught it bag in front of it right now it lights up like that on the screen so that's what the pixie sees. So when we actually run the program, it sees black except for, whoops, sorry, wrong button. Um, black, everything but the color of the teacher. So that's the object that the pixie sees. And it gives us the XY coordinates, the center of that um, object. And then with those XY coordinates, we um, manipulate them kind of and then send it to our servos to move to the position where we want it to. Oh, yeah, and then the serial monitor here, we have it printed out when it sees objects, so it's starting now, so this is, it prints out every uh, 10 times a second of how many objects and where they are, and we could print the XY location and the width and the height of all things, but we don't need it for what we're doing, so we didn't bother printing it, but it's something we could do.